Let's talk about post All Star, how this thing is going to look. Because right now, this team is 33 and 27. So that's 60 games in. They have exactly 22 games left. They have 22 games left. Six seed. A half game up on the Heat for the sixth. Uh, because, well, they're, they're pretty much tied, but they own the tiebreaker because they, um, they, they beat the Heat, right? So they have one game up on the Heat. So they're sitting in sixth. I mean, to me, my outlook on, on, on these next 22 games is operation get to five, get to number Mm. five. The Nets are going, you hope, or they should come back to the pack the Nets should be coming back to the pack Knicks are two and a half games behind the Nets for fifth that should be the focus operation get to five so that you can see the Cavs in the first round get to five and they have 22 games left to me the key stretch here is going to be next month in March Right, because you, they 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 start back next Friday at at Washington. It's a winnable game. They come back home on the second half of back to back against against the Pelicans. Won't be easy even without Zion, but still a winnable game. But then you have home versus the Celtics. Then home versus the Nets. Then at Miami, at Boston, home Charlotte, and then you go back out west at Sacramento, Lakers Clippers back to back. At Portland for the Cam Reddish revenge game. Home versus Denver. You like how I slipped that in? <laughs> Pause. Home Pause. versus Denver. Pause. <laughs> it's a flagrant. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That was a flagrant three, man. I, I'm about to eject myself. It's a flagrant. Show. <laughs> Usually that's... <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> I got to bail and end the show. Um, so, at Sacramento, back-to-back Lakers Clippers... At Portland, home versus Denver, home versus Soda, at Miami. I think that's a critical stretch right there. From March 5th to March 20th, I think that's going to be the tough stretch right there for the season. Yeah. For the season. Mm-hmm. So, to me, it, it's it's operation get to the fifth seed. 22 games left. The rotation is set. The rotation is set. Hart has gotten here. I think he's going to help the second unit uh, tremendously. He already has three games in. The second unit is much different. Much different. Because, again, there's not a knock on Deuce, but as I've been saying earlier this season, you need someone to replace him in that rotation if you want to make be, be a little bit more serious as you push for the playoffs. You need somebody that can replace him. It's more consistent defensively. Uh, can knock down the threes. He's giving you playmaking, and he's mm-hmm. one of the best rebounders in the league. That's a major upgrade on, on your bench. Then you saw him and Quickly coming in tandem, coming off the bench in tandem. Mm-hmm. I think they're going to continue to grow. You have has his ability to help in transition. He's a one-man fast break. I think that helps Quickly. It helps Obi as well. And you have Hartenstein playing well. So you have your rotation set. Grimes has already said he's good with it. He's okay with the limited minutes. He's just trying to win. Good quotes by Grimes. So that's number two. Number three, Mitch. Get Blockness back after the break. You need him durable. You need him to finish the season. You need him. You absolutely need Mitch to stay healthy and, and, uh, and be able to have him for the playoffs because that's another thing that changes this team going into the playoffs. Having a healthy Mitch, how he helps with the defense, his pick and roll defense, his pink coverage, offensive rebounding. They get a lot stronger there when you replace Sims with Mitch to anchor things. And then you think about the possibilities, man. You you have Hart, IQ, Mitch in, in some lineups. That could be really, really tough to contend with. You know, I, I can see them rolling with Jalen, IQ, Hart, Julius, Mitch. Yeah. I get that. 
that that could be a problem. You know what I mean? We're already gaining a glimpse of that with Isaiah Hartenstein filling that center role. Right. So right. you see that. This is who t- – that's actually the lineup that's been very interesting. You know, we saw RJ in the first one in the closing lineup with Hart here. Now it's quickly twice Yeah. in the, mo- in the most recent two games. Yeah. Mr. Durante says, what about Mitch? The rotation will be different again. No, not really. Just Sims will be out. You, you get you get Sims for emergency duties again. And with Mitch's durability, that's always a possibility. That's a realistic possibility. A Sims is jumping back in there. So oh, man. That, that's just what it is. So it wouldn't change, it wouldn't change that drastically. It was just Sims would kind of be on the outside looking in. But Mitch is important. He's my X factor. He's very important. And then lastly, RJ. It's got to get right. Take the break, recalibrate, like I said, get in there with uh, Drew Hanlon and find your groove because defensively, I don't I don't know if it's a knee injury or what, bro, but like it's drastically worse. Yeah. Drastically worse. I mean, just look just look at the way he's 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 running around screens, bro. It he's getting lapped. He's getting lapped out there. Yeah. He's getting lapped he, off of screens. Yep. And and the, and the jumpers, the jumpers looking broken. He's very important. He's He's got to get back right. He looks like he's injured. The way he like, he moves, man. Like, you know, like it move. he's moving like somebody who, who like rolled their ankle. I'm not saying he did. I don't know what's going on, but I'm just saying he looks like that. I'm not saying he has an injury. I'm just saying like when you watch him play, it just looks like something something's off there. Yeah, but I, th- but I like your list. I like yeah, that list. Those, so those are my keys, man. Focus on five. Rotation is looking good. It's locked in. Get Mitch healthy, and and get RJ. RJ's got to get right. Yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah, for me, this is what I'm going with. All right. My first question is, can Jalen Brunson keep this streak going? Because as I said at the top of the show, he is shooting fifty one he's shooting fifty two percent from the field, forty eight percent from three, eighty percent from the free throw line. He is averaging thirty points, six assists, four rebounds. That is that's from January first until now. Mm. If he can keep that up, this team could get to where you're asking for to get to that fifth seed. And if he can continue to do that into the playoffs. I'm a little. Com- I'm pretty confident that we can make a series out of something if he can continue to perform like that. Because if you have him performing at such a high level, it's just going to create other opportunities. Whether that's be for Julius, whether that be for RJ, quickly, whoever, it allows everybody else to hopefully get into rhythm. Yeah, <laughs> if they can get their passing game back up, we're not seeing 16 assists per game, 16 assists in a game. Yeah. My next thing is the Knicks have now gotten better with their three point shooting. Start the season. Uh, up until January 1st, Knicks were 26th in the league, shooting from three with 33.7%. Denver led with 39.4%. Uh-huh. Now, since January 1st, from January 1st till now, the Knicks are 17th in the league from three-point percentage, uh-huh. shooting 36%. That's above league average, which is league average is 35.7%. So to see that they have now getting to the middle of the pack and the offense is looking like it's gelling a little bit better. Can they keep that three point shot falling? Because that's just how the league is. You got to be able to space the floor, be able to space the floor. You give guys like RJ Randall to really attack the paint. We know Brunson can just command whatever he wants to do on the court, but he also create opportunities for Mitch, right? Yeah. Yeah. Putbacks. It gives Grimes an opportunity to attack the lane as well quickly. You know, whoever you have out there, but the fact that, these, the fact that they're starting to knock down their three, very, very inspiring. Just hopefully they can keep that falling. You mentioned Mitch coming back. What does that mean for Isaiah Hartenstein is my question. Because starting this season, he just didn't look good. We know that. We, 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 were, we were worried once Mitch went out, how are we going to stay in games because we don't have our rim protector who's going to get offensive boards, who is just going to be that that safety valve when things start going haywire? For a little bit, it was Sims. You know, Hartenstein was giving me some good stuff off the bench. Now, at this point, they're both splitting time when they're out there. 
between yeah. the center position. All right. And Hartenstein's been looking better on most nights than Sims recently, especially with his offensive rebounds, getting some, getting you some block shots. We're seeing that Emmanuel quickly, Isaiah Hartenstein pick and roll. See that? You even see it today. Hart's on the block, quick finds him. Yeah. Even yeah. though it didn't lead to points, but you're starting to see Hartenstein getting involved in offense. And since Mitch has w- went down, right? He's averaging six points, nine rebounds, one one and a half assists, about one and a half blocks. Mm-hmm. He's shooting 65% from the field, 75% from the free throw line, even though he doesn't get there that much. And he's doing that within 25 minutes to start before Mitch went down. That was during the Cleveland game. He started getting to a groove once he played the Cleveland Cavaliers. And we saw that amazing block on uh, mm-hmm. Donovan Mitchell. Before then, he was averaging 5.6 rebounds, not even assists, not even a block. He was shooting 48%, 48% from the field. All right. He was shooting, uh, you know, he still had the same percentage from the free throw line, but he was doing that in 18 minutes. Mm. So now with Mitch coming back, can he still keep up that type of production and be that center off the bench? Because you already noted Sims is going to go back. He's going to be on the bench with uh, McBride. So can Hartenstein continue to be impactful while Mitchell Robinson is here? Because you know Tibbs is going to want to go with defense down the late stretch of games and have Robinson in there to protect the rim. So I don't know if that's going to be less minutes for Hartenstein. I don't know if they're going to say, you know, we're going to need a little bit more offense. If Tiz wants you, to you do might, an adjustment you like might that. Get the same, you might get the same amount, and maybe they put Mitch on a, on a minutes restriction type of situation. We'll Who see. knows? You, you might get the same amount of minutes for Hartenstein, especially the way that he's playing right now. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. But I'm saying it's not only after the break, but finishing off the rest of the season, right? That yeah. we got, We need to see that because that's going to also – be helpful in the playoffs. And then the last thing, man, we got Josh Hart. I want to see if this team can get out of transition. We got 30 points tonight, right? Yeah. In a fast yeah, break. Yeah. With Josh Hart here, can it go, can it increase? Because I feel like the Knicks still need to be better in transition just to get easy points. They're 23rd in the league right now. Their frequency is about 15%. Kingsley with 20%. Knicks ranked 22nd in, in frequency, mm. 23rd overall in transition in points. Uh, points scored in transition. So can they get better with Hart because he gives you that dimension? And we were kind of missing that with the second unit, right? That's what Derrick Rose did. Got these guys out in space, was able to score easily, got Obi involved, got quickly open looks because someone's just flying yeah. down the lane. You have so to worry one about man, who's coming to the paint. Yeah. So can so can can we see that take a jump up with Hart? And those are my things for going into the 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 final act the final Not the second <laughs> half but the final act of the nba the, the season final act man <laughs>